out, y'all. Sorry it's so dark and so quiet. I had been intending to have questions and answers videos today, and instead, I am low-key celebrating. It was a false positive. It was a false positive. Oh, I am so ready for the blessing of another child, but not yet. Not yet. And this is what I get for freaking out on the strength of a pee test. I have had so many questions from that video that I'll go ahead and still answer. One of the big things was the fact that I said I'm living as a single mom and everybody's like, well, aren't you with somebody? How'd you get pregnant if you're a single mom? My partner cannot live with me in a rehab. I am the only one that takes care of my child here 24 seven. Hence, I'm living like a single mother. Living like a single mother. The whole reason we're in this situation is birth control failed. Now I'm gonna keep an eye on it and ask for a retest in a couple weeks just to be 100 because there is discrepancy. Pretty sure blood tests are like the end all be all, but I'm just paranoid like that. But I'm paranoid like that because this would mean birth control failed. And not just one form, but two. And when I was like, oh, it has to be a false positive because I'm one two, here came all the stories of women whose two forms failed. So yeah, I went to panic mode. This is honestly why I waited last time until the doctor confirmed. I freaked out and really wasn't thinking clearly, more of just like, I needed to get it out, but here we are. I am not pregnant. Hallelujah. A kid would be great, but now is just not the time. It really isn't. Sorry, I got people's hopes up. Um, it is what it is, I guess. I can't fix that now, but here it is. I still share this both because this is the reality of addiction. We are very fertile in the first year or so after use, and these things happen more than we know. I'm going to go celebrate and feel relief and calm down and we'll go from there. Have a good morning y'all. Okay, thanks. Bye.